and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm starting a vlog that I am literally so excited about. I know I say I'm excited about all of my vlogs, but this one I'm like really excited about because I think I'm just gonna do so much good reading this weekend and it's gonna be so fun. So yes, it is Friday afternoon and I decided that this weekend I wanted to film just a really nice, chill, cozy, spooky reading vlog. So that's what we're gonna be doing. And I'm so excited about it. I just have a couple of fun spooky books that I want to get through this weekend. I have like some movies I want to watch. I want to do some journaling. I want to do some decorating. It's just going to be like really chill. We're just going to hang out and it's going to be a good time. So yes, I even made a tiny little TBR. I love making a little mini TBR, all right? I just love checking the little boxes, you know? So my TBR for the weekend is a wee bit ambitious, but I don't expect to get through one of these in its entirety. It's kind of like a, if I finish the others, then I'll read some more of this, but I'll talk about that one last. So I have like three main books that I really would like to read. The first one is Long Live the Pumpkin Queen by Shay Earnshaw. This is the lovely Barnes & Noble exclusive edition because she's all like, monotone and i really like the way her red hair pops but this is a book that follows sally i think after the events of nightmare before christmas and i'm literally so excited about it i think it's just gonna be like a really fun read obviously i would love to read this and then watch the movie so that is absolutely going to be happening and i'm really excited about it i don't know like anything about the plot of this book aside from the fact that it's nightmare before christmas because that's all i needed to know we're gonna go in blind because i don't want to know anything about this and we'll just see how it goes so next up i have this really thick book which looks like incredibly intimidating but i'm only gonna be reading one of the stories out of it because this is the legend of sleepy hollow and other writings by washington irving but I don't care about his other writings right now, so I'm just gonna read The Legend of Sleepy Hollow. I don't know how many pages it is. It literally took me three minutes to find the page that this is on. Who wrote this table of contents? I wanna have some words. We won't talk about how long it took me to find that. Um, this is only about 30 pages. I don't think it's gonna take me very long to read at all. And I'm just really excited to finally read the story because I have like a general idea. I've watched like the Disney animated short, but obviously I'm gonna assume that's not like, the full story. So I'm really excited to finally read it for myself. And I think it's just gonna be perfect for October. I'm so excited about it. So I think this is going to be the first thing I read. Not sure though, but I do want to read it before I read this next book, which is Horseman by Christina Henry. I don't know what the plot of this book is. Honestly, I did not look into it. All I knew is that it was inspired, maybe it's a retelling, by the Legend of Sleepy Hollow. So obviously I had to pick it up. I mean, I haven't like read this one yet, but I'm gonna assume I'm gonna, you know, enjoy it at least. And I'm just so excited about this because I read The Ghost Tree by Christina Henry earlier this year and I really enjoyed that book. And I think this one is gonna be even better. Honestly, I have high hopes. I think I'm really gonna like it. So maybe once I read these or just like once I read this one at least, I'm going to watch the movie, the 1999 movie with like Johnny Depp and whoever plays Katrina. I don't remember what her name is, but I'm really excited about that one because it just looks like the perfect October movie. And I'm just like, I'm so, I can't believe I haven't seen it, frankly. Like it just seems like something I'm going to love. And the fact that it's taken me this long to watch it, jail for me, honestly. So I'm just really excited about like my Sleepy Hollow themed activities this weekend. And then the other thing which I definitely should be able to get through is Over the Garden Wall Distillatoria. This is, I still don't know if it's a comic or a graphic novel, but I'm thinking it's a comic. I do need to finish my rewatch of Over the Garden Wall before I read this, but that'll literally take me like half an hour. So really want to read this one. It looks very fun and I need more content from this universe because the show is so unbelievably short that I just need more. So these are like the main four books that I'm hoping to get through this weekend. I think I'll be able to do it. I don't have like anything to do this weekend. So it's just gonna be me and my books. So I'm really excited about that. And then if by some miracle of science, I manage to make it through these four books, I do have another book that I could read some more from. I don't think I'm gonna finish this one because it's like 600 pages and that sounds like a big commitment but I do want to read like a little bit more of it. And that is Dracul by Dakri Stoker and JD Barker. I'm currently like 90 pages into this book and it is just so interesting, honestly, because we're following Bram Stoker when he's like 21, but at the same time, we're also following him when he's like seven. He's a very sickly child. He has this nanny who I'm thinking is a vampire because she keeps like 
healing him miraculously and nobody can figure it out but he's starting to be suspicious so i'm really interested to see how that progresses because right now i'm just confused and there are so many questions that i just need answers to and i really would like to read some more of this this weekend potentially again these are the priorities but there's always room for more we'll just have to see how the reading goes at any rate if I even get through one of these, it'll be a success. So yes, there's the TBR. As for plans for today, it is currently like 3 p.m. and my friend Elaine is gonna come over and we're gonna watch Vampire Diaries together, which we do like every weekend. And I'm so excited about it. Still, it's gonna be the best time. We're right in the middle of season three, which is like one of the best seasons. So really excited about that, but she's coming at like five. So I only really have two hours to read today. So I'm thinking The Legend of Sleepy Hollow is like a perfect book to kind of like slip into that two hour time span so i'm gonna go read this then i'm gonna watch some vampire diaries and then after that maybe i'll like pick up a little bit of this maybe read a few pages tonight Ooh, look at the chapter headings hello show them the chapter headings please love so i think that's everything i needed to tell you i'm so sorry if this intro is like 47 million years long i don't know how to speak in a concise manner anymore i guess like it's an issue um <laughs> So let's get into reading The Legend of Sleepy Hollow. we need to talk okay because i'm only three pages in to this short story and the writing just the ambiance that he has set in like three not even i'm only two and a half pages into the story it's just stunning oh my god also i'm sorry if it's so echoey in here but i mean listen to this it says however wide awake they may have been before they entered that sleepy region they are sure in a little time to inhale the witching influence of the air and begin to grow imaginative to dream dreams and see apparitions another good one on this page too this one says the whole neighborhood abounds with local tales haunted spots and twilight superstitions I mean, literally, the per- I mean, I, did, I had to dig out the highlighter. I had to dig out the pen. I was not originally intending on annotating this, but like every line, I'm like, yes. Yes. We can only hope my enthusiasm will continue. Not that ad. We can only hope my enthusiasm will continue for the rest of the story because I mean, just like, wow. Based on this ambiance alone, five stars. Literally within the first two and a half pages, like, this is why I feel like classics are so good for the fall because the way they're written is always just so stunning. I'm gonna get back into it. just finished reading the legend of sleepy hollow and honestly i kind of loved it i can't believe i haven't read this before because this is literally like perfect fall spooky vibes like if it was dark outside i'd probably be a little bit scared reading like the last part of this book when he's like walking through the woods running away from the horseman i also just adored the imagery in this book because like there were so many descriptions so much talk of like the leaves changing and the pumpkins and like corn and all this fun autumnal stuff and i just i loved it five out of five stars for the writing honestly but the rest of the story was fun too it's very short because it's only like 30 pages so i don't really like the story was okay it was very quick and in some aspects i kind of appreciated that he just tells the story in a rather short and concise manner but he still gets like all of the information in while still having that like little extra flourish of describing like scenery and whatnot it is literally like the perfect read for right now if you want something short to add to your October TBR, I would definitely recommend checking this story out. 
because it definitely gives you all of the fun spooky vibes so i'm so glad i finally read it it doesn't quite trump like my other favorite classics yet but honestly it's up there it's like this one dracula frankenstein basics i know but it's the truth all of like the spooky classics like it's you're hard pressed to find one that i'm not gonna like and i definitely want to read some more like short stories i think there's one by robert louis stevenson that i really want to read called the body snatcher which is about like grave robbers <laughs> so i kind of want to pick that one up i might go to barnes and noble at some point in time during this weekend because they have like a really cool edition of it that i kind of want to pick up so i might have to do that just because i'm like give me the short stories they're so short they give me such a sense of accomplishment because i finished a classic but it's like 4 55 right now so elaine should be here soon so i'm not gonna like start reading anything but i think once um we finished watching vampire diaries and all of that i'm going to start reading the horseman tonight just so i can get like a little bit of that red and then i think i'm also gonna go for like a fun little fall walk in the morning because it was so crisp today and i know it's also supposed to be like really crisp tomorrow morning and that sounds really fun i might go get like starbucks afterwards i kind of i've never tried a pumpkin drink from starbucks which seems like a crime because i literally worked there last fall and i never tried anything with like pumpkin in it so i think i'm gonna try something pumpkin-y i don't want coffee is the problem because i don't like coffee but i'll figure something out i just think that would be like you know fun go for my walk go get some starbucks really cute start to the day anyway there's that big fan of the short story now i'm even more excited to watch the movie which i will be watching tomorrow and i cannot wait and yes, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. friends i've acquired the drink and i thought we could do a little taste test together which i'm really excited about i have had a nice chai before and i do enjoy it but never with the pumpkin what's it called pumpkin cream cold foam there we go anyway cheers guys i cannot lie this is scrumptious oh my god it is so good the pumpkin works so well with like the spice of the chai so if you like chai and you like pumpkin try them together i'm like very pleasantly surprised because i wasn't sure if i was gonna be into this but like i wish this wasn't so expensive or else this would be my new fall drink anyway i thought i could also give you a little bit of a reading update while we're sitting here so i think i've listened to about two chapters of horseman by christina henry and i'm really enjoying it so far it's definitely got like the sleepy hollow vibe but also i didn't know this but i main character's trans i don't think i've ever read an older story like this revamped to kind of like talk about contemporary issues and how like they were dealing with it back in the day so i think it's going to be a really interesting read and i'm really excited to read some more of it so our main character ben was hanging out with his friend in the wood one day and then he saw like all of these people go past on horses really quickly and they're like hey we should go see like what that's all about and they end up seeing the body of one of their classmates who has had his head removed and his hands removed so yeah not great obviously um kind of starting to think that it may be the headless horseman because he's left other people headless but um i'm interested to see where that's gonna go it sounds gruesome but honestly i'm kind of in the mood for like some horror you know like i just feel like the backdrop of sleepy Ho horror what <laughs> i feel like the backdrop of sleepy hollow is just gonna be like the perfect setting for a horror book so i think it's just gonna be I don't want to say fun because like people getting their heads ripped off is not fun 
but I think it's gonna be fun. So I'm really excited to read some more. My goal is definitely to finish it today and then I'm going to watch the movie tonight, which I'm so excited about. That's kind of where I'm at with the book. Also, I went for my walk. It's so pretty, oh my god. The trees were just gorgeous and I love seeing it. I love seeing it. Also, it was like so crisp. It was like 40 degrees. I dug out my coat. It's just a great day. So I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna finish this. I'm gonna eat my croissant. And then I'm gonna read some more of Horseman. So it is shaping up to be a good day, my friends. like one o'clock in the afternoon right now and I've made some progress in the horseman. I'm on page 133 now and I'm really enjoying it. We have seen yet another person get brutally murdered so that was kind of uh, gruesome but other than that I don't really know if much has happened. I feel like it's a pretty slow moving book but at the same time I'm like I do want to keep like it's a page turner because it's just very interesting. We're kind of getting like some answers but not really and I feel like that's all I have to say about it right now because I'm only like a third of the way through. So the plans have changed slightly for this afternoon because one of my friends texted me and they're like, do you want to go pumpkin shopping? And I was like, yes, absolutely. I want to go pumpkin shopping. So we're going to go to like a little, it's not really a pumpkin patch, is it? We're going to go to a place where they have pumpkins outside. So. I thought, obviously, I will bring you guys along. I think that'll be really fun, and I'm very excited about it. So, change of plans, but it's a good change of plans. So, I'm going to walk over to my friend's apartment, and then we're gonna go pumpkin shopping. Literally, like, the perfect activity for today. I'm so excited, so let's go. pumpkin related activities it's like 342 and i thought i could give you a mini pumpkin haul because like yeah that sounds fun so first up i have like one bigger pumpkin but it's like a nice medium-ish small size I've got these two like squash looking are these squash i think they're squash they're not actually pumpkins but they're really cute and like multicolored and whatnot we have these two white pumpkins very basic very plain but an essential nonetheless and then i got this really tiny normal looking pumpkin so there's my pumpkin haul <laughs> anyway it's like four ish right now so i think my plans for the rest of the night are going to include finishing up the horseman i still have like two thirds of it left but i am going to make it a priority to finish it However, I think I'm just gonna listen to it on audio for a little bit while I do some decorating around my apartment because I've done a little bit of decorating but then my roommate told me that she has like a bunch of Halloween decorations so obviously I will be putting them up and I thought I could like listen to the audiobook while I decorate and then I think after I decorate and listen to my audiobook a little bit more I am going to watch The Legend of Sleepy Hollow which I am so freaking excited about I think it's gonna be so fun but before I get into doing any of that I do need to like eat something because I am rather hungry so I'm gonna listen to my audiobook while I do all of that then I'm gonna watch the movie and then I will get back into doing some physical reading so that's kind of the plans for today i literally had such a fun time going to the pumpkin patch and it was just so cute it was literally like the perfect fall day today it's like 65 degrees there's a nice breeze the trees look beautiful and it was just perfect honestly so let's make it even more perfect by having just like a really cozy night in now so yeah
everybody, it is just a little bit later and I've listened to a decent amount of horsemen while I've been decorating a little bit. I'm now almost on page 200, so I'm like two thirds of the way through the book. And I'm not like obsessed with it or anything. It's kind of feeling like maybe a three or a 3.5, but I'm still like enjoying it enough. And I really like listening to it on audio as well. I just feel like the way Christina Henry writes really lends itself well to being told through an audiobook. So I'm really enjoying that. It's also giving like some fun background to the characters like from The Legend of Sleepy Hollow. Like we've kind of gotten a little like background story for Brom and Katrina and I think that's just really fun. So yeah, there's my little update on Horseman. I think I'm definitely going to be able to finish it today. So that is fun as well. But I do have a couple of things that I wanna show you. First of all, I got an Amazon package and I thought we could open it because obviously it's a book. So I'm definitely very excited about this book. I think it's going to, oh my God, the cover is so gorgeous. I just think it's gonna be really fun and it sounds like something that's like right up my alley. You know what I'm saying? And that is Lake's Edge by Lindo Calypstone, which is like a gothic fantasy which that's basically all I knew about it when I bought it. And that's all I needed to know about it when I bought it. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, it's pretty. Um, drawings and whatnot. Oh, the chapter headings. Hello. This top blurb says Lake's Edge drips with romance and mystery. It's bloody, sumptuous, and as timeless as a fairy tale. That sounds like it just sounds so cool. It just sounds like something I think is gonna be really fun. So hopefully this feel this feeling like November-y to me. I don't know. But maybe I'll read this in November. Also, I really just can't get over the cover of this book. Look at it. It's like gorgeous. And then also when I went to my friend's apartment earlier, she gave me a late birthday present. And I just it's so cute. First of all, this mug. Look at it, Snoopy's a vampire. Oh my god. He's so cute. There's even a little pumpkin in there. I have no idea if you can see that. Um, but I love this mug. It's such a big mug too, which I love a good big mug. So I just thought this was adorable, honestly, and anything with Snoopy on it, I need. So this, I just think is really funny because she got me Halloween Fruity Pebbles because A, I love Halloween. B, I love Fruity Pebbles. <laughs> It's so fun. Literally, I was in Walmart like two days ago and I was like, I should get some Halloween cereal. And then I didn't. But now I have this and it's great. So yeah, that that's just so fun. And I'm so excited about it. So anyway, it's like five o'clock now. I think my plan for right now is going to be to go downstairs. I'm going to make some cookies, which I'm really excited about. And then I'm going to sit down and watch Sleepy Hollow. I have not finished this book yet, but I'll just finish it up after the movie because I really just want to like sit and chill and watch a movie. Like, yeah, that sounds great. So there's the plan for tonight. <laughs> It is Sunday morning and I have a couple of just like updates for you guys. So first of all, I finished Horseman last night and I think I'm gonna give it a three stars. I didn't like hate it or anything, but it wasn't like amazing. There is like one aspect to it that I did hate, however, and this might be slight spoilers, but I do want to just like mention it because it makes me so upset when the villain in a book does something just because 
I'm like, that's not a good reason. Give me a reason, give me a backstory that they want like vengeance for some reason or another, not just because they were bored and immortal. Like I, <laughs> but the rest of it was decent. I enjoyed it enough. It's not like groundbreaking, but I do like the fact that it's like a, it's not even like a retelling of The Legend of Sleepy Hollow really. It's kind of like a sequel almost is how I'd probably describe it because it takes place 20 years after all of the events of like the actual story the legend of sleepy hollow so I thought that was fun and I liked seeing how the author kind of pulled in all of the characters from the original story I thought that part was really cool but just that one thing I was like why like give me something to go off of here not just because definitely three stars for horsemen and I am glad that I read it also last night I watched sleepy hollow and I freaking loved it. It was so like weird, but in a good way, definitely like will be watching it again soon. So that was really fun. So I'm glad like I read all of my Sleepy Hollow content for this weekend because that was, it was just fun to like consume them all back to back. So I also have started Long Live the Pumpkin Queen. I'm like 40 pages into it maybe. And it's just fun so far. It follows obviously Jack and Sally and they went, at least in this like first 40 pages, they went on their honeymoon and they went to Valentine's Town. Yeah, so that was cute. I really liked seeing Valentine's Town. It was like, like everything was pink. There were like cupids all over the place running amok and whatnot. And it just sounded really fun. And I was like, what a perfect place for a honeymoon. So yeah, that's kind of as far as I have gotten. They just got back to Halloween Town and I think some things are gonna start to happen obviously so I'm excited I don't think it's gonna be like a new favorite but it's definitely like really fun and I just love Nightmare Before Christmas so I'm glad I'm reading this one as well so that's kind of uh, the reading updates I have for you guys I also got a little Amazon package this morning which I did not order so I'm really excited to open this if I could get something to open it with so we have a little book oh my god oh this is so fun so this is from Darcy and she says happy belated birthday thank you so much Darcy and she sent me the nature of witches by Rachel Griffin which I have had my eye on for quite a while and I'm so glad that I finally get to read this book and obviously this book will be like perfect for right now just everything I've seen about it and like everybody talking about it I was like I need to read this book so definitely like might have to add this to my October TBR because I'm so excited about it. So literally, thank you so much, Darcy. Oh, that's so sweet of you. So that's kind of like my reading updates, my mini book mail. Now I think I'm going to just chill for a little bit and work on some journaling spreads because I want to make a spread for Vampathon because I am participating in Vampathon, which is like a readathon hosted at the end of this month and I'll like put the info in the description if anybody's interested because I think it's gonna be so fun and I wanna make like a little spread for it just to like track things and whatnot which I'm really excited to do. I also got like a bunch of stickers and whatnot that are Halloween themed from a scrapbook shop a few days ago and I wanted to give you guys a little haul because they're so cute and I'm so excited about it. So here's my mini haul. Um, if you don't care I'm so sorry but I'm so excited about all of these. So first up I have this like little ghost sticker. Look at me so cute. Oh, I love him. I got two more bats. I actually have some of these bats already, but I just think they're adorable, so I wanted some more. I got this little, this one's not really Halloween themed, but it's like this butterfly thing, and it says list of favorites, so I think you're supposed to put like your favorite butterflies on it, but I think this is going to be really good for like an end of the year spread, so I can like list my favorite books on it like that's immediately what my mind went to so i'm glad i have this this one's also not really halloween themed but like for wintry spreads i thought this would be fun i got these fall leaves which i think are going to be perfect and i also kind of want to make a spread for my just like general fall tbr so i might do that as well and obviously i'll use these and then i also found this like little poem sticker thing and it's literally just like a trick-or-treat poem I, I just thought it was so fun and i thought it'd be really good to like as like a layering piece for any halloween spreads that i could potentially want to do and i just think i just thought it was so cute and then the last thing which i am immensely excited about when i saw it i was like there's no way i am leaving this store without this stamp and i'm not usually like a stamp girly okay but like i couldn't not look at it <laughs> it's a tiny pumpkin house like i don't know maybe i'll put this on my fall tbr spread i feel like that'll be yeah that's like oh, it's so cute oh my god like i will be putting this on everything i'm so excited about it and illumicrate recently sent like a stamp set so i already have like the stamp block for it and everything so it was just perfect 
So yes, many exciting updates this morning. I think I'm going to just spend a little bit of time journaling and then I'm going to read some more of Long Live the Pumpkin Queen. I really don't think this book is going to take me very long at all to read because the text on the page is so large. I mean, wow. Definitely like we'll be finishing this today and I think I'm gonna watch, well maybe not like watch watch, but I'm going to put on Nightmare Before Christmas at some point in time just because I do want to like sit down and like actually watch it. But obviously I kind of want to put it on just for like the ambiance while I'm reading this book. So I don't know, we'll just see what happens. And yeah, so many exciting updates for the morning. So let's journal. friends i feel like it's been a minute since i whipped out the bat glasses so never you fear here we go all right so it's like one o'clock now and i've done my journaling i'm really happy with my spreads i think they're just like i really like how they turned out and that little pumpkin house stamp is like my new favorite thing ever it's like it's precious like are you kidding me i love it right now like I said, it's like one. I'm going to go to Barnes & Noble just because I want to do a little bit of like fun book shopping. Like find some good spooky books. Like I need to buy more books, but I'm going to do it anyway because it sounds fun. So yeah, that's the plan. Obviously, I'll show you guys what I'm looking at, what I'm thinking about buying. And then when I get back to my apartment later, we can do a little bit of a haul. So let's do it. shopping and I do have a couple of books that I'm very excited about and I want to show you. So first of all, we have Dark Entries by Robert Ackman. Ackman? 
Aikman. This is like a little collection of short stories. I believe these are from the 60s, maybe? They were first published then? 1964, so. I've found that like the couple of horror-ish kind of stories that I've read from like the 50s and 60s, I've really enjoyed. So like The Haunting of Hill House is from like the 50s, I think. Anything written by Ray Bradbury is also written around like this time. And I just love the writing. So I feel like hopefully he'll have good writing too. I don't know. I really don't know much of anything about this to be honest, but. I saw it got like decent reviews on Goodreads, so here we go. Maybe I can just like pick this up every now and then, read a story. And I also really love the cover. Like I've seen this in Barnes & Noble before and I wanted to pick it up, but today is the day that I finally did it. And then the other thing I'm really excited about is this beauty. This is the strange case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde and other stories by Robert Louis Stevenson. This is the Barnes Noble exclusive edition. And normally I don't really enjoy like hardback, hardcover? Hardcover classics really, because when I read them, I want to like, like I need a good reading experience, you know, when I'm reading a classic because that already takes me like some motivation to get through it. So I don't want to like not read it because I don't like the format that it's in. If that makes any sense. This is really nice because it looks like it's a hardback, but it's actually like kind of a hard, it's like, it's like a, a hybrid, all right? Between a paperback and a hardback. So it looks really nice and pretty, but it's also like, you can open it as wide as you want and like the spine's not gonna crack or anything. But also this is gorgeous. I mean, look at the front of it. I love like, this goldy lettering and like all of this science paraphernalia on it, like the test tubes and whatnot, I think is really fun. And then the spine also has like a little test tube on it, which I think is fun. And yeah, I'm very excited to pick this up. They're also like a pretty good deal. They're only like $15, which like isn't bad because like this is pretty nice. So I mainly picked this up because I want to read The Body Snatcher just because I heard Ashley from Frolic Through Fiction talk about it. And I was like, I like a good, you know, horror short stories. So definitely want to read that. And then obviously I also want to read The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. So here's my book haul. I'm very excited about both of them. So now it's like two o'clock. I'm going to eat some lunch and then I'm going to hopefully read the rest of Long Live the Pumpkin Queen. I really don't think it's going to take very long. It seems like a rather short book. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to put the movie on my TV and like just kind of watch it in the background for the ambiance, you know? And yeah, I think it's just gonna be really fun. So yes, let's get reading. I'm excited. <laughs> It is four o'clock now and I've made some progress in Long Live the Pumpkin Queen. I am on page 167, so I'm like a little bit over halfway. And I'm enjoying it, <laughs> but this one thing that just happened is like so dumb. Like it's not dumb, but it's kind of just like ridiculous. And like, I saw it coming. Like the second like these people were introduced, I was like, oh. I get it. And I think it's just really funny. I don't know, but the rest of it, I am enjoying. Like, it's definitely fun. I feel like Shay Earnshaw has done such a good job at, like, capturing just the whimsy of Nightmare Before Christmas. And I love reading about it. Like, it's just really fun. Also, something else that I'm really enjoying is the fact that we've seen, like, all of the other holiday towns. Like, they first went into Valentine's Town, which is, like, the one that we spent the most time in. But events in the book did lead to Sally having to like go through the other towns. And I was like, this is so fun. Because in the beginning of the movie, when it like comes down into that little clearing and you see like all, maybe there's like seven of them. Are there six of them? I don't know. But when you see them all, I'm like, I need to know what is behind these doors. And you definitely get like a little look into them, which I freaking love. I like, I just, the concept of an entire town being themed around a holiday is so freaking fun. And I would love to visit like any of these, honestly. Well, actually, I don't know if I'd want to visit 4th of July town or St. Patrick town, I think is what it was called. Um, those are like, you know, 
C-level holidays, honestly. But any of the others, yeah, I'd like to visit. So I'm going to sit down and read as much of this as I can before I go hang out with my friend tonight. We're going to watch Scream Queens, which is like our favorite show to watch together. And we're gonna make some pasta, which I'm really excited about because I have Halloween shaped pasta. Maybe I'll show you guys, because it's really cute. I'm really hoping I can finish this before I leave, but if I don't, I will obviously just like, come back and finish it. I think I might be able to though, because like I said, this book reads so quickly because the text is so large. Honestly, really appreciating that though, because I can read so many pages in the span of an hour, I feel so accomplished, so. Hello everybody, I am back to wrap up the vlog really quickly, kind of talk about what I read, how the weekend went, all that good stuff. Honestly, I had such a great weekend, it was so nice, and the fact that it's not the weekend anymore, kind of jarring, honestly. I read some really fun books, I watched some great movies, and I also just did like some fun activities, and it was such a nice time, honestly. So quickly... Let me talk about what I have finished and then I will also give you my final thoughts on this book because I finished it as well. So first up, I finished The Legend of Sleepy Hollow by Washington Irving. I freaking loved this story so much and I feel like this is going to be the kind of story that I want to reread every autumn just because I feel like I've harped on it a lot. But the writing is just so autumnal and I loved it so much. So many good descriptions. It was also just kind of like spooky and a really good time. So again, I would highly recommend this book if you want like a short read for your October TBR. I feel like ooh, reading this on like Halloween would be so fun. And then I also finished Horseman by Christina Henry, which I'm going to give a three stars. I didn't love this one, but I still like enjoyed my time reading it. And having Sleepy Hollow as the setting for a horror book was just like genius. Honestly, big fan. I really enjoyed how Christina Henry like tied in all of the characters from the original story and I liked her writing overall. Three stars for Horseman for sure. And then I have finished Long Live the Pumpkin Queen as well and I think I'm also... Hmm, maybe I'll give this one like a 3 or a 3.5. It wasn't like amazing but I also like wasn't expecting it to be amazing but it was definitely fun. Like I would love to like actually see an adaptation of this. I don't think that's ever gonna happen, unfortunately, but it really does feel like like a Disney movie. Honestly, like that's exactly what this plot reminds me of and that's like exactly what I was wanting it to deliver. So it was just a really good time, honestly. It's definitely interesting to see like the characters in Nightmare Before Christmas like actually have like personalities, if that makes sense. Because I feel like in the movie, they're kind of just like there. You know, like I love the movie and I love the claymation, but like character work, non-existent, which like obviously, but it's like weird almost to see them like be in a book. I don't know. I enjoyed it, but it was just like kind of jarring almost, but I would still recommend it if you like Nightmare Before Christmas and you are down to read like a kind of sequel for it. Um, it was... It was fun. I really, like, my favorite part of this book was seeing, like, all of the different doors in different holiday towns. Like, that was so cool, and I have been waiting to see what these towns look like. If anybody wants to know, I would like to visit Valentine's Town for sure, and Thanksgiving Town, honestly. Like, I feel like the autumnal vibes in Thanksgiving Town, primo. So, that's kind of, you know my my wrap up on everything that i got to this weekend it was just so nice and i'm so sad that it's over but it's okay because i will be doing obviously more reading vlogs in october which i'm really excited for so be on the lookout for those this one was super fun to film though and i think it's turning out to be one of my favorites so i hope you guys enjoyed it too if you did enjoy this vlog please let me know down below have you read any of these books that i got to this weekend if not just tell me if you guys are reading any spooky books if you aren't just tell me 
just tell me how you guys are doing. I'd love to chat with you in the comments. I'll see you there. So um, I'm going to let you go and I will see you guys in my next video.